Nine to ten, a young woman's death once sent shockwaves through the nation. Now her legacy is saving lives. And when you hear these things and you see these faces, it really is humbling that because of the work we did, this person is alive. KSHB 41 News reporter Megan Abundus and Todd Palmer sat down with her family to remember Kelsey's legacy. A look back to 2007 in Overland Park, Kansas. Uh, I think about her daily. 18-year-old Kelsey Smith went to this Target. I think there's such an interest because she just went to Target. Like, she's just an all-American girl that went to Target and that was it, didn't come home. One month after her birthday, days after her Shawnee Mission West graduation, now it's been 15 years. 15 years since a teen who was into sports, band, theater, loved by her friends and family, and had a bright future, was abducted and killed. Her body found four days later in a wooded area of Jackson County. Kelsey's murder rocked the Kansas City area and nation. It can feel just like yesterday, and then there are times when it's like, wow, it's been a long time. It's unreal that she's been gone almost as long as she was here. That part's hard. Like... It's been too long. There's only one person responsible. Yeah. That's it. No one else. And, and you true. can't have the what ifs and the regrets. Kelsey's sister Stevie and parents Greg and Missy continue to hope through their nightmare. The world can still be inspired by Kelsey's legacy of what she's been able to do even though she's not here. How many of you um, have ever used a cell phone to locate a person and quite a few hands went up and I said I'm going to sound a little arrogant right now but you're welcome. The Kelsey Smith Act. Cell phone companies can ping a user's last location if police decide that they're in danger. There aren't many people that get a law passed in 30 states, and we've done that. But on the other hand, I look at the other 20 and the fact we can't get it done federally, and I'm like, come on, people. Stories of lives being saved because of Kelsey. They've seen the law work. The Smiths have heard stories of people who were able to get medical attention after a failed suicide attempt or a rescue of a neglected baby. Their stories go on and on. When you hear these things and you see these faces, it really is humbling that because of the work we did, this person is alive. A moment of realization. I'm not giving up. I won't give up. The wonder of where this young woman would be now and changes her death led to that has impacted so many. The only thing I'd want to change is that that day never happened. You know? But then if we change that, you don't know what lives wouldn't be here because she was. You can't change any of it because then it changes everything. Megan Abundas, KSHB 41 News.